pre-calculus topic eight. And I just want to do a, another example of, par of partial fractions when we have multiple um, factors in that denominator. Now this cover-up method that we're using, the heavy side, um, only really is effective for us when these are unique. We, we, we can't have any repeated um, factors down here. So let's go ahead and deal with it. So what I'm going to do is first off, I'm going to pull out the three factors. Uh, I'm sorry, the three zeros, the three things that would make me divide by zero. And one of them is two, one of them is one, and one of them is negative three. And those are going to be uh, my uh, my things that I will uh, use to, to compute with. So let's do cover up method. So if I'm going to use two, I cover up the factor that makes me divide by zero. And then I plug two into what's left. So I have seven times two squared minus four times two plus five over and plug it in here, two minus one, plug it in here, two plus three. Whatever number I get is going to go over x plus two in my in my partial expansion. So let's see here. Four squared, uh, two squared is four. Seven times four is uh, twenty-eight minus eight plus five. So that's going to be a twenty-five up top. And down here I have five times one, five. So twenty-five divided by five is five. So notice that the 5 came from using the 0 this, so it's 5 over this, x minus 2. And I'm going to do the, the next one. So my cover-up will be for x minus 1, because now I'm using plus 1. So let me plug in a uh, positive 1. 7 times 1 squared minus 4 times 1 plus 5 all over. Uh, and then I don't use this one. I use the other two. 1 minus 2 times... 1 plus 3. So this is uh, 1 squared is 1, 7 minus 4 plus 5 over, and uh, 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Whoops, sorry. And uh, 1 plus 3 is 4. So my denominator is a, is a 4, and my numerator um, 7 minus 4 is 3, 3 plus 5 is 8. Oh, it's negative 4 down here. 8 divided by negative 4 is negative 2. So for this one, notice it's a negative 2. So instead of plus, it's going to be minus 2 over x minus 1 because I got a negative 2. I could write, you know, plus a negative 2, but uh, I'm a little more sophisticated than that. And so now I'm going to try it with a negative 3. So the thing that I'm going to cover up is the uh, the factor that makes that a 0. So now I plug in negative 3. 7 times negative 3 squared minus 4 times negative 3. Ah, that's not a 3. That is plus 5 over. And I don't use this factor. I use the other ones. Negative 3 minus 2. And then negative 3 minus 1. So up top here, I have 7, uh, that's a 9. 7 times 9 is 63, plus 12, plus 5, over uh, negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. Negative 5 times negative 4. So that's a 20 down there. And then uh, up top here, uh, 63 plus 12, 70, 80. 60, 75 plus 5 more, there's my 80, is 80. 80 divided by 20 is 4, positive 4. So this next part would be plus 4 over, and I came from the x plus 3. So it's that. So there's my partial fraction expansion for this. And what I'm saying is um, these are equivalent to each other. They're equal to each other, like this and this. They're identical. This is just written as three fractions. This is written as a single fraction. 